NBA basketball for Monday. We're now into February. We did not have a really good month of January for our NBA picks, but we won some really uh, some of some of the big marquee games. We did uh, really well uh, overall, though. We had a good month. NCAA basketball was really good. NBA, we're going to do much better this month. I'm really excited for the month of February. Let's get to it. Utah minus the two versus Chicago. Chicago coming off a of back to back. They did not play well against the Clippers last night. Utah with Rudy Gobert back in the lineup. They are a much different team. I'll talk about that in just a second. I like them minus the two the two tonight. So I'm going to back Utah minus the points. Let's talk about Chicago on the season. The Bulls, they're averaging 101.6 points per game while shooting 43.4% for the field and allowing 100.5 points per game on 42.4% shooting from the field. And statistically, they defend really well. They rank uh, first in the NBA in overall opponent overall shooting percentage uh, and two-point shooting percentage. But the issue is uh, they allow more attempts than any other team in the league. Now, conversely, on the other end, offensively, they rank second in pushing the pace, uh, averaging about 88 shot attempts per game. Um, but they're struggling right now. And I think tonight they're facing a Utah team uh, that's rested, that is playing really good basketball recently. And uh, I think they're going to struggle tonight, especially with the, the way Utah plays defense. Let's talk about the Jazz. On the season, they're averaging 97.7 points per game, shooting 44.4% for the field and allowing 96.7 points per game on 44.9% shooting for the field. Now, I think they're one of the top five defenses in the league. And it's a little bit attributed um, to how they run their pace, which is slow, which is about the slowest in the NBA. But still, they get after it. Since Gobert has been back playing full minutes, they're 6-5. and five. Uh, Two of those losses were on the road. And uh, those two losses were in overtime or three sorry three of the five losses they had were on the road two of them were in overtime and then uh the other two losses at home were by a combined five points so i like utah tonight i think they're playing good basketball right now they catch chicago in a in a good spot so i'm gonna go ahead and back the jazz here minus the small number to take care of business win this game uh by well, i think well more than five points i really think they put the clamps down on chicago that's gonna be my nba pick today and i wish you luck on your picks today